So for any given alkene, many different types of isomers can exist. In this lecture, we're going to compare the cis or the Z isomers with the trans or the E isomers. And we're going to discuss which ones are more stable. So let's suppose we're working with 3-hexene. Now 3-hexene has two types of isomers. It has the trans 3-hexene isomer or the E 3-hexene isomer. And there's also the cis 3-hexene isomer or the Z 3-hexene isomer. Now, trans simply means the smaller H groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, while the E means that the two higher priority groups are on opposite sides of our double bond. Likewise, cis simply means that the two H groups are on the same side of the double bond, while the Z means that the two priority, the higher priority groups are on the same side of the double bond. So we have the trans and we have the cis 3 hexene. So let's examine our three dimensional model of this 3 hexene. So here we have our cis 3 hexene. So here's our double bond and here are our single bonds. So we have the methyl group, the methyl group, and our two H's here. Now, one important detail that you must remember about double bonds versus, sigma, uh, versus single bonds. Double bonds do not rotate, they're rigid, while single bonds, single covalent bonds, are able to rotate. So, this bond here will rotate, and this bond here will also rotate. So, let's suppose that this bond rotates, and this bond also rotates. What will happen then? Well, if these two bonds rotate, look at what happens. When they rotate, they will bump. And this bumping will cause steric hindrance. This will interfere and destabilize this cis-3 hexene. In other words, there is this bumping effect when these two single bonds rotate. And this means, or this creates, a high energy destabilizing interaction in the cis compound. What about our trans, a trans compound? Let's suppose we move this ethyl group into or onto the bottom. So now we have, and now we have our trans hexene. So now, no matter how much they rotate, there's no interaction between these destabilizing ethyl groups, between these large ethyl groups. And that means the trans isomer is the more stable isomer because it does not have the destabilizing interaction between the two ethyl groups like in the cis compound. Therefore, it has a lower or more negative enthalpy of formation. There is a difference of about one kilocal per mole of energy between this guy and this compound. And this one is more stable than the cis because there's no interaction between these two large ethyl groups.